the things I'm about to say to y'all Shinobi Nation is insane. I literally called a lot of stuff I'm about to say, and they added even more to what I wanted. We have amazing news regarding the newest season to release in Naruto the Boruto Shinobi Striker. Regarding the first DLC character, new summonings, and more. Let's just get into this. He's getting stronger. All right, we have a lot to look over. We honestly never got a lever this big, so read along with me, or if you want, just listen. Greetings to all you ninja out there. This is the Naruto the Boruto Shinobi Striker development team. We are grateful to everyone who has been playing Naruto the Boruto Shinobi Striker. This time, in our fifth developer's letter, we will be sharing information on summon animals, the new systems being added to the game with the Season 8 update, and we will give you the rundown on the latest fighter to join the Ninja World League. Kawaki Karma Progression. That's freaking insane. The next update marks the long-awaited start to Season 8. Kawaki's Karma Progression uses Dio Kokuten. If I say this wrong, please don't make fun of your boy. To attack distant enemies and to Kanae Kona to shrink himself in order to dodge and counter enemies attacks, making him an exceptional unit suited for aggressive combat once you mastered how and when to use his abilities. Leveraging the overwhelming power of his karma, Kawaki Karma Progression can use the following ninjutsu let's react to this y'all okay a little combo here and there halo dance mm. oh Ooh, ooh, that's gonna be annoying, bruh. This ninjutsu launches a miniaturized stake at your target. After a foe is hit by the stake, they will also be targeted with a follow-up attack using a giant boulder. Because the miniaturized stake is hard to see and move at rapid speeds, this ninjutsu excels at long-distance surprise attacks. The giant boulder is an AOE attack, allowing you to catch out multiple foes at once and destroying their battle formation. Of the existing ninjutsu, this ninjutsu's projectile speed and attack power or top class. As mentioned earlier, you can pick off enemies from a distance with a surprise attack and follow up from a giant boulder, or you can use it as the combo finisher to close out a fight. Ninjutsu 2, Sukane Kona God Hunter. Whoa. Oh, he's gonna be it for attack. This ninjutsu takes advantage of Tsukane Ikona residing in Kawaki's left eye to shrink his body, allowing you to avoid attacks and follow up with the rush attack afterwards. Leaving the left stick alone or pushing it forward while using this ninjutsu will allow you to dodge attacks in a manner similar to a substitution. You'll be invincible while in your shrunken form, allowing you to both avoid enemies attack and fire off counter attacks of your own. What the freak bruh? This rush attack has invincibility so it's extremely useful compared to similar rush attacks. Plus, depending on how you choose to position yourself, you'll also be able to launch surprise attacks against your enemies above or below. This ninjutsu requires a bit of skill to fully master, but once you've done so, you'll be able to fight your way out of any situation. Secret Technique Karma Progression Oh, that's freaking crazy. Ooh. Unleash the evolved power of the karma to greatly enhance your physical strength. You'll remain in the shrunken form granted by Sukane Ikona for the duration of the secret technique, allowing you to nullify most long range attacks apart from other secret techniques and visual jutsus. Plus, your strong attacks will change to drop giant boulders as used in Daiokokunin ninjutsu. Multiple strong attacks inputs will also allow you to launch fireballs to make your foes flinch before following up with attack from the scientist to arms. This sounds freaking crazy, but I'm not gonna lie. This is a self-enhancing secret technique that is, oh my gosh, I'm stuttering like a mug, that excels in offense and defense. Defend against thrown ninja tools with Sukani and Kona and get in close to deal damage, or chain your Dale Kokoten strong attacks for a punishing combo. Y'all better not be roasting me. The additional strong attack inputs carry enough strength to knock out your foes with one attack rotation. The fireballs are created pretty quickly, so try comboing them with other ninjutsu, or y'all know what I'm gonna do or attack when your foe least expects it to get the most value okay 
Kawaki Kami progression will be available for use in the free update, so look forward to using him on the battlefield. By purchasing the special ninjutsu training, your avatar will be able to use his ninjutsu. W. Summon animals are on your side. As we promised in the previous latest roadmap info, notice, summon animals will make their debut in Season 8. In the developer's letter, we'll be showing off the first animal to be added, the Ninja Hound. It's different colors, like I told y'all. Summon ninja hounds and ride them to pause to, to quickly move around the battlefield. Enemies you run into while moving will suffer damage and be blown backwards. Not only are ninja hounds fast, they can also run along walls and jump, making it easier than ever to move around the map. However, you'll be stuck in one place for a little while when calling the ninja hound, and the ninja hound will retreat if it's hit while in attack while running, making it harder to rely on them to escape a tricky situation. We recommend calling your ninja hound when your enemy lets their guard down or when you aren't being focused on by your foes ninja masters also possess a special technique called body activation that is similar to summon animals i looked at this and i didn't really understand it let me try reading it again body activation can be used without an animation and upon activation grants an increased movement speed effect allowing the user to move rapidly around the map while this technique doesn't have an animation when used users who attack or are hit with an attack while using it will lose the effect for this reason, we recommend using this while of, out of battle to capitalize on its effect. In addition, summon animals will be added to the scroll appraisal lineup, giving you the chance to get a rare ninja hound. Summon animals from the scroll appraisal might also debut in various special effects. Bro, look at that, bro. We're getting like 12 ninja hounds, bro. And they're, they're going to be all different colors and like different type of designs on them. Yo, this is crazy crazy we will be releasing an article at a later date with more information on ninja hounds obtainable from the scroll appraisal along with additional details on how to use ninja hounds so please check that out then oh you know i will we plan to have summit animals fully released following the maintenance at the end of june we also have plans to include other animals to join you in battle apart from ninja hounds look forward to them you know i will i want to see a bird man starting from this update the new rarity ss plus item make their debut in the scroll appraisal as we mentioned in the previous develops letter ss plus items are designed around the idea of being weapons even more unique than ss items so we've been hard at work challenging ourselves to come up with new animations that properly reflect the source material following that train of thought while a ss plus item is equipped your character will strike a brand new pose when they're deploying on missions and when they win in survival exercises Oh, that was crispy. We also will be unveiling three SS items. Attack type weapon Claw Edge Kurama, a kunai style after the 7th Hokage, Naruto Uzumaki, and the tail be sealed within him, Kurama. When using normal attacks, the Shadow Clone Jutsu and Rasengan are included in your combos. When using strong attacks, you'll recreate Kuruma Link Mode and lash out with Kuruma's Mighty Claws. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Range type weapon Infernal Style Flame Patrol, a ninja blade styled after the legendary hero known as the supporting shadow, Sasuke Uchiha. With this, you'll be able to recreate his many abilities including Flame Control and Susano, along with their destructive potential. Let's go ahead and watch this one too. Yo. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yo! Hail type weapon seal blade Tosika blade, a straight sword styled after the genius of the Uchiha clan, Atachi Uchiha. With this, you'll be able to recreate his mini battle oriented ninjutsu, including Susano and the bird clone jutsu. Make use of the bird clone to dart about the battlefield at high speeds. What the freak, bruh? Oh, what the heck, a combo that shoots on fireball jutsu?
As mentioned in the previous developers letter, the theme for the new Sessual Ninjutsu is Awakened Tail Beasts. We'll be focusing on the legendary Tail Beasts along with the Jinchiriki who host them. First up to be released is the attack type Ninjutsu host transformation two tails. What? What? Oh my gosh. This ninjutsu transforms the users into two tails form and blows away surrounding enemies before raining down bomb blasts from above the target. This ninjutsu searches for enemy from a far distance before rushing towards them. The bomb blasts that occur after the rush have a wide area effect, allowing you to catch multiple foes at once, making this ninjutsu especially effective in team battles and base battles. Plus, the flames that erupt when activating ninjutsu counts as attacks, so you can open up with the normal attack combo before unleashing the ninjutsu. Combo is about to go crazy. Chain together a combo of short range attacks or use it to snipe out a foe. This ninjutsu has a lot of utility and how you use it is up to your playstyle. This ninjutsu is scheduled for release sometime after the next update. Balance adjustment info. Here we'll be explaining our thought process behind the balance adjustment we'll be making in the update. The two points we'll be focusing on are master character combo adjustments and balance adjustments to individual ninjutsu. Like last time, it'll be a bit of a long explanation, so bear with us. We are master character combo adjustments. We have confirmed that certain characters and weapon combinations have difficulties connecting in certain communications environments. In order to improve this issue, we'll be making adjustments to the master characters, especially the ones who issues have been the most obvious for the time being we'll be focusing solely on master characters but we'll also be running tests and conducting adjustments in multiple stages on weapons usable by the avatar shinobi in order to improve gameplay for all of our users balance adjustments to individual ninjutsu as an example of how we're buffing some ninjutsu let's take lightning style chakra mode until now lightning style chakra mode has solely been a low cost self-enhancement secret technique however in order to make it stand out from other secret techniques and similar effects, we've adjusted it so that the power of the user's lightning style ninjutsu and ninja tools are greatly increased while lightning style chakra mode is active. Hmm, that's interesting. The ninjutsu that are affected by this change usable by attack types are lightning blade, lightning style lariat, the piercing one finger thrust of hell, and lightning style shadow clone jutsu. And the ninja tools affected are the scientific ninja tool lightning release bullet and the scientific ninja tool purple lightning. The power increase is close to 100%, making it a huge buff. With this change, lightning style chakra mode, once regarded as one of the weaker attack abilities, should be able to carve out a space for itself thanks to its synergy with lightning style ninjutsu. If you're reading this and thinking to yourself, I'm a lightning style user then i recommend you try out this secret technique another adjustment we made was to the summoning type ninjutsu such as summoning great snake we greatly reduced the cooldown times and lowered the summoning beast's hp a bit to balance it out with this change users won't have to worry about when to time the perfect use of a summoning and will be granted more leeway in battle not only that this change also tackles the issue where the summoning beasts have too much hp for enemies to bother fighting leading them to avoid the area altogether now, with the nerf to HP, users will have more of a choice in whether they want to engage or not. Other changes include allowing users to use C2 Dragon in mid-air, expanding the radius of Palm Sage Jutsu and Six Path Shock Rebirth, and various other changes. Those other changes will be posted in a notice and included in the in-game patch notes on a later date, so make sure to check them out. We plan to continue making additional changes to the types and in due to mention in his letter as we monitor the impact of these adjustments on the battle environment and user data. We hope you continue to enjoy fighting in the Ninja World League. New item showcase. Here we introduce some of the items that make their debut in the new scroll appraisal. The newly added items are different from the current scientific ninja tools and the weapons styled at the characters from the original series and cover art. We'll be going over them right now so check them out. Attack type weapon, 4th Rai Kage's gauntlet. Ugh. Oh! It's your doing! I'm not going to lie, that weapon got to look kind of saucy, bro. I don't know. Let me know how y'all think about this one. The new weapon styled after the 4th Rai Kage, A, 
has arrived. This weapon allows you to unleash a dynamic full body combo just like the 4th Ride Kage. A strong attack allows you to throw your enemy as especially memorable. Why not try it out with the newly buffed lightning style chakra mode to give yourself a taste of what it means to be the Ride Kage. Ninja Tool Shuriken Shadow Clone Jutsu. A Jutsu that turns one Shuriken into many thanks to the Shadow Clone Jutsu is here. What the heck, bruh? This is definitely from the third Hokage. That's tough. The Ninja Tool can be equipped by any type. After throwing the Shuriken and activating the Shadow Clone Jutsu, there is a short delay before they attack their target because it deals multiple hits and follows its target for a long time. This Ninja Tool excels not only in attack but in defense and supporting other ninja as well. Hill type weapon Double Moon Sword Fading Blossom. Ooh. Oh, what you going to do to be better than the spinning arms, though? Are right, you good? I don't know, but I don't know if that's going to be better than the spinning arms, bro. It looks cool, though. The double moon sword featured in the cover art of Chapter 98 of the original series arrives as a hill type weapon. Despite being a large weapon, the normal attack swing is pretty fast, allowing you to easily unleash multiple head combos. The strong attack unleashes fissures. I think I said that right, in the ground, making for an impressive sight. Range type weapon 1010 scroll. Oh my gosh, bro. A weapon styled after the scroll used by Tencent makes its debut. You can launch countless weapons from the scroll. Every command input is for a long range attack, so it would be wise to maintain your distance during battle. The strong attack launches multiple random ninja tools at once. Rare ninja tools are even more powerful than common ones. Use this weapon to see for yourself. In closing, thank you for reading until the end. The new season will begin on the update 523 JST and Kawaki Karma Progression is set to release on 524 JST, so please wait just a little while longer. We hope you're looking forward to the new battles you'll be experiencing in the next evolution of the Ninja World League with Season 8. With that, we bid you farewell. Let us meet again in the next developer's letter. This is amazing, y'all. I literally called a lot of stuff we are receiving, and it's even better. They gave me times two what I've been asking for. I can't even believe we're getting Kawaki's Karma Progression. He is for the attack type. Also got to look at the new summoning, which is amazing, by the way. I can't wait to see more about that. But I honestly think the hypest thing here to me is the SS plus ranked weapons. Like, yo, that looks insane. And, and look what I told y'all when we first heard talk about these weapons. And one of the coolest things they talk about is that we will be receiving SS plus weapons. We will have characteristics of cast characters from the original series. This right here is so cool. This means we could get weapons that could give us combos of a VR master. Imagine you get an SS plus ranked weapon and it just says Gaara's combo set and you actually have his combos that he does in the game that would be insane i literally called it y'all i need y'all to let me know in the comments how hyper y'all to see all this that will show up starting tomorrow and we get kawaki what is that thursday no we get him friday let me sure all right yeah we get him we get him friday i i, I just want to make sure i ain't sound dumb all right but look y'all y'all already know i will be showing y'all everything new that released in naruto the boy toshinobi striker just like i've been doing so if you're new subscribe and hit that like button with a cool out for your boy because you're definitely going to want to tune into the story of malu uchiha can we get this to 501 likes for your boy this is insane y'all y'all can't even lie but look hope y'all have a blessed day i double uploaded this today so i would appreciate if y'all go check that out for your boy i love y'all i'm outie skirt, skirt. nah nah back Okay. Oh, cool. I'm just kind of doing All it takes is just one hit, and you're cooked. <laughs>